Android users, you can now have TYT in the palm of your hand. Our TYT app is available for download in the Google Play Store. Just go to tyt.com slash app to find out more. Do you ever wonder what it's like to be in the life of a Nazi? Like, what is their daily life like? Well, now you can experience it too through the wonder of a video that's gone viral. So uh, this is Patrick Little, who's a neo-Nazi from California, ran for Senate, by the way. Didn't win, but there was a Nazi who ran for Senate and you didn't even know about it. Um, and then Jason Kessler, the guy we talked about previously, uh, who orchestrated the Unite the, the Right rally number two. We join our friends in the middle of a generic discussion uh, that the Nazis have about Jews and weird things. And you'll hear a voice in the back of Jared Kessler's, uh, Jason, Jason Kessler. Kessler's uh, little video monitor. Uh, take, a, take a listen. Big Orthodox crosses on their chest, as Dr. Duke likes to point out, is Jewish. The breaking houses are in Israel. Hey, you get out of my room. Hey, sorry, I'm having an issue here. Oh, oh, you got a drunk roommate there? Something like that. What should be like that in my room? Uh, I've got uh, somebody who supports Orthodox uh, Israeli, like is word. <laughs> We're at a crosshairs on that stuff. I don't agree with. I want this to stop there's in my room, Jason. This is my room. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> Clean your room. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's a parent there. I'm not sure. Uh, Jason, why are you staying with? Uh, you're not staying with an Orthodox Jew, are you? No, it's my father. He what? Basically, the deal is, is my family watches American History Channel. Oh God. Seven, and it's constant anti-German propaganda. The Nazis, uh, the the Jews, like, and the dude. I'm I'm stuck in a situation where I have to stay with my family because I'm paying for all these lawsuits, and yeah. I can't afford to do that without staying with my family. But they are, they're cut. <laughs> Dad, Dad, leave me alone! I'm trying to hate the Jews in here. You're always making me stop hating the Jews. I need to use your room because my room, you turned into a knitting room for mom. Oh. God. Uh. Oh my God. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was amazing. I don't even know what else to say about it. His dad is awesome. Don't push. Get out of my room. Why is he in his dad's room, right? Like, because his room's now mom's like knitting room. That's what it is. No, they are watching the History Channel. And like you know, they've been cooked because like they keep hearing about how the Nazis were bad and stuff. <laughs> That's history. Do you know what you just said? You said your dad learns about the past, watches shows about the past, learns from it, and then realizes you shouldn't be hating the Jews like you are. He decided after watching a documentary about World War II that the Nazis were bad. Like, listen, every a lot of people are like, Dad, I don't want to be like you. But like, they don't take it to like, so Dad likes the Jews, so I'm going to hate the Jews. That was so incredible. That guy thinks he's superior to minorities. Oh my God. There's that more guy. There's more to this. Uh -huh. Tell me. They tell talk me. more about the effect that this kind of uh, intense scrutiny they're under has had on their lives. Life has uh, been pretty expensive the last few months. I still maintain an apartment and this boat in case of eviction, and I trust Shlomo to figure out a way to get me evicted. But if I get in a situation where I can't have an apartment like you're in, I've got this bad boy. Now I've been sorting out documents and stuff, but this is my baby. <laughs> there's a, in the back there is a king size bed. In the front there is a double. Uh, behind that, behind door number uh, two there, and this table comes down and becomes a king size bed. Uh, I'm sorry, a twin, a twin bed. And I will be renting it out and stuff to try and cover expenses, or else I'll have to sell it at a huge loss. Fund my company, give me some revenue. Dude, say Kate would. I know Shlomo is gonna evict me. In the meantime, I have an apartment and a boat. Shlomo's playing the long game on you, is what it sounds like. Like. Oh, times are tough for you. You've got a boat with three beds in it. Oh, poor kid. My God. Oh, which? Oh. oh my God, it's so good. So bad. It's so good though. It's so good. It's so good. I just don't understand how you can be sitting in your boat on the seas, which yes, is the whitest thing you can do is have like have a sailing vessel. 
and be complaining about how financially hard I know, these times are. I know, are. I know, I know. But that's how they convince people to donate to their cause <laughs> or whatever it is. But those are the guys, like, but look, beta tested. The reason why that's the master is because these are the guys who go around accusing other men of being betas, right? <laughs> They're accusing other men of being betas. They're accusing other men. Like, you're living at home with your parents. And by the way, I don't think that it, that's, there's a ton of millennials who have to do that, ton of young people have to do that because of student loan debt and all that. You're doing it because you're a loser. Because you, you know, failed at this ridiculous white nationalist Nazi movement. I'm getting sued. I'm getting sued because I organized this event where someone got run over by a car and died. Yeah, you're getting sued because you're a piece of crap. So enjoy your parents' home. And I hope your dad keeps yelling at you, you little loser, beta, <laughs> cuck. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.